it's okay. We can start new. Okay, so welcome to Factory Town. <laughs> And I've just reached tech level three. This is gonna give me a bunch of new research here. Farming, forestry, uh, intermediate logistics, boat building, kitchen, fluid pipe. This is actually gonna be really useful. Uh, as you can see, we've got people delivering water by bucket. <laughs> so uh, it'll be nice to, to get that sorted out. Uh, we also have the tailor, coin boosters, and wooden railways. So a lot of new, new stuff. The next tech level is going to be achieved by getting cloth conveyor belts and wooden rails. I think what I can do, I'm going to stop producing the wheels for right now. Uh, let's switch this to conveyor belts, but how do I want to do this? Can I build the chute yet? I think I unlocked it right. I didn't unlock it yet. Uh, 30. Okay, so once I get the chute, I'll build an automated delivery system here. Uh, to get the logs to the lumber mill as well as the workshop. And then the first thing I want to do is I actually want to swap out the workers that I have delivering water uh, for one of these wagons, which I think is a good idea. Pick up, drop off. Uh, the only issue is, is yeah, the wagons can only go, they, they, they can't intersect other workers so they kind of need this guy out of the way uh, so let me see if I can make this better pick up drop off there we go that's a bit better okay next step we're doing the shoot so I'm gonna get that going here Get out of the way. There we go. Like that. Uh, and I will also have it go like this. And then I also need a logistics block because we're going to be splitting it. So there we go. Uh, so I, I'm going to get my workers to start dropping the wood off onto the conveyor belt. Uh, like that. I guess I'll get this fourth worker delivering to the crate still. That way I can still use the logs for building. These guys are in a tricky spot actually. Let me see if I can get you on that instead. Just delete some of these extra paths. And perfect, so now we've got wood being delivered directly in and I'm starting to produce those wooden conveyor belts. Uh, I do need to get somebody to deliver those to the town center, so let me go ahead and do that. Actually this person doesn't need to be there anymore. And I can do another research, what do I got? Fluid pipes. Let's do it. So fluid pipes are, are from the lumber mill, costs two logs to build. Uh, so let me go ahead and get that going. Uh, I also want to, hold on a second, we want to take wood conveyor belts and put that on my toolbar here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to output the pipes into a crate. Like so, fluid pipes. You know, I need a forester. I don't, I don't have access to that yet. What do I need for that? Forestry. I need 100 research points. Okay, we're at 50. Yeah, I need to increase my output of logs here. I would say it's probably because these guys are all kind of in a bad position here. Let me see if I can fix that. Uh, that's better. Put a little path in to make it quicker. Let me go ahead and upgrade the town center. So basically when I upgrade the town center, you'll see this this circle that's, you know, around the, t the town here. Uh, it's going to increase its radius, like so. Actually, I have access to two upgrades, so let's go ahead and do the second one as well. Uh, the third upgrade requires more houses 
and red coins instead of yellow coins now. So it kind of gets exponentially harder to upgrade. I have access to, we want forestry first. So let me go ahead and do that. So another thing I need to consider here is there's like preferred areas for resources. So if I check off trees here under world data, uh, you can see the ideal places for trees. Um, so essentially I've cut down this forest here. So there's all these plots here that would be ideal for trees. So what this is telling me is the best place to put a forester is probably somewhere in here. So I get access to the most, to the most trees, or I could also put it over here. Um, but essentially the forester is going to automatically harvest and grow trees for me. I think what I'll do is I'll put it here and I'll get rid of a couple of those trees that are in the way. And then I can run the shoot this way. I think this is perfect. Uh, I need planks. Where are my planks going? I'm gonna stop the wood conveyor belts so that I can get my planks back. Two more planks. There we go. So there's the forester. I could put a little path out, out of here as well. Maybe put it this way. Something like that. This is kind of ugly actually. Let me do it like this. But yeah, essentially any trees within the catchment area here, uh, the forest, the forester will regrow automatically and chop down for me. So I can basically get rid of these guys, but I, I need to put in some shoots first. Uh, okay, it looks like I can do that now. So I'll... Here's what I'll do. I'll remove that, put this in. Uh, and then I need to add a turn. I also need to remove that and I need to do this and remove this and I need to remove these guys. All right, and then we're gonna remove that road there. And last step, logistics. I need to split this like so. And I think it's a little confused right now. There we go. Awesome, so that's automatically going to deliver. Uh, the other thing I can do is maybe just add another line this way and delete that crate because I'm gonna actually put another crate right there and I'll put another splitter in. So then I'll still get the, I'll still get the logs delivered directly to the crate so I can go ahead and build with them and then that's that so I just I basically just automated that whole wood output situation that I got going on here uh, and I can increase the amount of workers assigned to the forester to increase the amount of logs that are now coming out um, what's next okay so I've got fluid pipes coming out now um, and that's something that's very useful so basically there's another view here and pipes so there's another view here this is like the piping the piping view so this is underground I don't have a lot of pipes yet but you know we'll get we'll get there um, but yeah once I essentially get the well connected to the what is this a workshop lumber mill uh, through pipes then I can get rid of this wagon so I, I don't need to do this constant back and forth with the wagon uh, looks like I have another research available what is that okay farming I'm gonna go for that because now we can start automating the farms and that's a good idea because we're running out of green so farm 20 stone 20 planks same situation here you can see uh, the tiles highlighted in green here uh, basically that's telling us 
the, the, specifically the, ti the, the, the green around the grain here, you can see they're kind of overlapped. Um, there's some green here that's showing like how far a building can be that would still be considered connected to the path um, versus ideal place for grain. So I'm going to drop this farm in. Where are we gonna put it? I think this is the best spot, but why would it let me build there? Oh, it's because I have workers that keep running in and out. There we go. Uh, basically what I can do now is I can add in a chute that will deliver the grain directly to the food mill. And that means I can get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, and also get rid of you. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, let's get rid of that, per that person as well and get rid of this crate. And actually I can probably simplify this road as well, like this, get it out of the catchment area of the actual farm. And then the next step for the farm is to actually build farm tiles, but they cost me fertilizer, which I need to get a pasture to get, which I don't have access to yet. Uh, they also cost a lot of yellow coins, 10 coins, which at this stage it is a lot. And I can plant grain for 10 coins as well. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and plant some extra grain here, uh, just to make sure that I don't run out. Cause I have, I have actually farmed up quite a bit of it already with my workers. Uh, I can increase the output as well here. So I'll probably, let's, let's set it to four workers. And then another thing I can do is I can automate the delivery of the flour, which is a good idea. So I'm gonna use a conveyor belt for that. And then I can get rid of this worker. So now I have this conveyor belt pulling the, the flour directly out of the food mill and into the food market. So what's next? I need to fix this actually. I could start getting books, which is going to increase the my ability to research. To do that though, I need to take this cotton and deliver it over to the workshop, uh, which is quite far away. So I wonder if maybe I should just look at building another workshop. I think that's probably the better option. Let me do this. Because then I can start producing the cloth and I can deliver the cloth directly here, but I also want to use the cloth to make books, which requires paper and cloth. So yeah, basically this workshop, I'm gonna just make it dedicated to producing cloth. And then I want another farm here. Uh, where's the best spot? I'm actually gonna say this is probably the best spot for this. And remove that. Alright, I'm going to plant some cotton. I don't have a lot of gold coins to do this, but I'll plant a couple bushes and then I'll put a shoot in like that and get rid of that person. And now this is going to start producing cloth for me, which I can then add. I think a good idea is to add a wagon that will take that cloth and deliver it here because then we're gonna start producing books uh, let me get rid of some of these workers that are standing around
Okay, so what I'm gonna do as well, once I get this crate emptied, uh, actually, maybe I can make this faster. One more load. All right, delete that, delete that. Uh, also wanna delete that. Move this forward and then put that in. Okay, I wanna start delivering the paper over to here. Oh, I can actually build more of the pipes as well. My storage is full actually. So let's do this and that. And I'll build a couple more pipes, but I don't really have a lot uh, to start getting us over to the houses because that's gonna help our happiness. And let me remove the wagon that's delivering that manually. And now we're good. So no longer have to manually carry buckets of water to the lumber mill. It's now being delivered through the pipes. All right, I have a research. Let me see which one I wanna go with. Uh, I do need wooden rail and cloth conveyor belts. I don't have access to cloth conveyor belts yet. What does that need? Uh, intermediate logistics. Okay, and then I need 200. Oh, I'm like really close to getting that, um, but I actually stopped my production here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get somebody that's gonna deliver some of these cloth directly to the workshop. That way I can get that research. So wooden rails. And then I'll get intermediate logistics next. Oh, I have books. I have books. Let me deliver those to the school now. Actually something I can do is maybe add a wagon instead to make this quicker. And then I'll pick up drop off and what I'll do as well is I'll pick up paper and drop off paper and then I'll get rid of this worker All right, population level increased. We can build some more houses. I think I'll go ahead and do that. I'm at 24 to 36 workers, so probably a good idea to get some more workers. Put the houses here. Two, three. I'm actually gonna stagger them a little bit here, like this. And let me see about pipes again. Nice. Awesome. All our houses are now connected to water as well, so that's another resource that they're all getting access to. Uh, so yeah, I can check here. Uh, this is supply, so it tells me what resources I'm supplying and how, how happy they are with it. So right now we're supplying all kinds of flour and all kinds of water. And if I scroll down, also all kinds of cloth. Uh, we've also got paper and books happening here. And that's it. Um, I could I could actually start delivering some of this grain directly into the food mill as well, which actually would be a good idea. So let me do that. Where's the edge of this? Okay, right there. Say so yeah, I'm gonna go like this 
and like this. I'm gonna remove that path. Nice, so, oh, and something I should probably do here is make this a splitter. So that's gonna increase our happiness even further. And there, I've got another population increase. All right, research, intermediate logistics. So this gives me access to blockers, filters, mergers, priority sorters, and cloth conveyor belts, uh, which I can research with 200 red coins. So I'm just gonna wait for the red coins. Uh, I could unlock something else here. Uh, let's see, which one? Which one should we go with? I'm gonna go with boat building because I would like to get to fishing uh, and that's a prerequisite. I could also go and get another research, civics level one, which is gonna increase my town center capacity and my housing capacity. So I'll do that as well. And I've got access to specialty. Uh, let me see, town specialty. So it uh, looks like I only have access to one of them, but we, we have all kinds of different town specialties that add bonuses to your town. Two times output chance is really what these do for the most part. Uh, and they're all like different categories of items. So the one I have access to is uh, processing, which would give me two times output chance, which is a 30% chance of two, double the output uh, on all of those various items. So. I can see planks there, there's flour, there's uh, animal feed, bread, stone bricks, books is there, paper is there. Um, so yeah, that's very useful right now for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. I wonder what this means, is primary storage. I haven't noticed that before. What's next? I'm still working my way over to wooden rails and cloth conveyor belts. I should be able to build wooden rails now. Let me see what I need. Uh, wooden rail. I need planks and stone. Okay, let's activate that. And I'm gonna have to actually make it so that the planks go from here to there. Uh, speaking of which, the planks are going nowhere right now. I think a good idea would be for me to get rid of this crate, or at least move it. Uh, maybe move it back here. Can I move it? Uh, it has to be empty. Uh, let's empty it. Delete. And we're gonna move it over to here. I'll move this as well. There we go. Uh, oh, I have to turn this back on. Okay, and the purpose of me doing that is I'm gonna actually build a barn right here. Okay, and then the barn, I'm going to start shoving planks into it. And I only want planks in one of these places, so the rest I'll turn off. Now we can upgrade the barn as well. Uh, it will require some planks actually. So once I get 20 planks, I'll upgrade the barn and then we can increase the storage. I think it goes up by increments of 50. So I'll be able to get a hundred planks in here at a time instead. And um, what was the reason, what was I doing? I, I, I need planks here as well. So uh, I have planks going this way, but I also need to send planks over here. So I guess what I can do is add another conveyor belt to you know, put planks here. There we go. So it'll send them through both directions as, as they're available. And there we go, I've increased. I could increase again. Uh, I'm not gonna though. Um, I think I need to look at automating over here. This is kind of gross. So let me delete this. Delete this. Uh, stone bricks. I think I'll move this over to here. Let's uh, change this roadway. Get rid of that. And then get rid of this. I'm gonna add a chute. Uh, I passed. 
No, I keep passing the direction I need. Let's do that. I don't want that. Okay, and then I want some workers. I'm actually gonna create like a split here as well because I want to keep some of this stone in the in the barn and then I'm also gonna want to store some stone bricks here so let's do that and then I will put a conveyor belt to bring the bricks in like that and then I can get rid of this crate delete get rid of that worker uh, get rid of this worker and I can get rid of this crate There we go much better setup for our stone now. Uh, I do need to add a splitter here Perfect doing quite well so far. I need some wooden wooden rails. That's what's going on next uh, Which needs stone right so could take the stone from here and, and deliver it over using maybe a wagon. It's not a bad idea for right now. I can automate this later, but for now, this will work. All right, and I'm gonna do something that I haven't done yet. I'm gonna build like a kind of a more complicated conveyor uh, that's gonna ru run above ground here. This is just so I can get the wooden rails over into the town center. So there they go. And now my counter is going up for wooden rails. So the next step is going to be cloth conveyor belts, which I think I can unlock now. There we go. Uh, I'll also go ahead and get some more unlocks. All right, so cloth conveyor belts also from this building. I need uh, wood conveyor belts. Let me see here. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do it this way. Wood conveyor belts, and we're gonna do like that. I feel like maybe I should create another conveyor belt to deliver cloth. Uh, let's do it. But I do need to increase my output for cloth as well. I'm noticing I don't have enough cloth. All right, let me do that. So, This is starting to get complicated. It can get complicated pretty quick too. I hope I have enough. That oh, looks like I do. All right, I need to, I need to add a grabber here. Perfect. And now I can get rid of that. I can also, Go ahead and get rid of that. I think I don't I don't need any red coins right now. Let's unlock the tailor. Uh, I just need a little bit more and then I can unlock coin boosters. Basically all my research is done for this level too, so we're getting close uh, to having the next level. Alright, I'm gonna change my conveyor belt on my bar here to the cloth one. And that way I can quickly build them. And I'm gonna actually replace this one first. 
So you'll see the cloth conveyor belt is a lot quicker than the wood. And start replacing these conveyor belts as well. I think the only other conveyor belt to replace would be this, the long one that I just made here. Uh, but I don't really have enough to do that. So I'm going to hold off. I just have one cloth conveyor belt right now. Awesome. I have coin boosters now, which are essentially if you reach the maximum amount of workers you can assign to a building, you can add coin boosters to keep adding worker output. Um, what I mean by that is, let's take a look here at the Forester. If I reach 10 workers here, uh, I can then buy the yellow coin booster and it will add five work units each. Um, each of the workers is, how much, how much is that actually? It's, it's a little over one. It's like 1.2 maybe. Yeah, 1.2. Um, so yeah, each unit of the coin booster here would be five. So essentially it's like having four or five workers, uh, but then that starts costing yellow coins. So you have to make sure you have the, uh, output for that. Uh, why is this stopped? Stop working. Oh, it's because this is full. Uh, which means that I could probably add some workers here. So let's go ahead and add maybe two more workers. Awesome. Tech level four. So we've got metals, fishery, basic medicine, which is another service. Uh, civics level 2 and laboratory. These are all researches that I can now get uh, So we need a hell of a lot more general Research points and then for these two items. I need to start getting nature research points, which requires Natural knowledge tomes which are produced by laboratories. Yeah, that's a whole other whole other thing. So I Did say I want to get the fishery though. So that is something on my list here. Uh, but in order to get tech level 5, I need to get metal rails and iron wheels, which both of these are produced by machine machine shops, which I need to get... I need to start with uh, metal... metal... I don't even know how to pronounce this. Metal... That's it for me on this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. You've been watching my playthrough series of Factory Town, which I did record live. If you're interested in following along with live streams, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I do go live. If you like the series, if you like this video, be sure to like it. Be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.